Hello lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. Today is a new pen day for me. I have been wanting one of these higher priced Ferris wool press pens for quite some time now and I'm really excited to share with you my thoughts about this pen. A lot of you have been asking me if I've ever tried their other pen styles other than the carousel and I'm happy to have this jewel pen in my collection. I will confess I did open this box but it was just to ink the pen only. I am not as graceful when I'm inking my pens. So I did ink this ahead of time, but I have not written with a pen yet. As always, Ferris Wool Press has the most beautiful packaging. And in the back it says, the jewel fountain pen, the embodiment of creative energy in the Ferris Wool Press universe, the jewel proudly claims the honor of receiving Lord H. H. Evergreen's loyal warrant, an emblem of unrivaled quality and prestige. Feel empowered to pen your next victory. And I think this is so cute. If you don't know, Lord H. H. Evergreen is one of their characters in their fairy tales line, and I think that is the cutest thing ever. This pen is really secure in there, so it doesn't slide out as easily, which is a good thing. And inside, you will find a leather sleeve that holds the pen, and you could use it later on to store the pen as well. It has their Ferris Wool Press logo here, and this is just so beautiful. I love the detail that they put into their packaging. It also has the cutest little Canadian lead. Oh, that's so precious. And oh my goodness, this pen is gorgeous. I have it in the engraver's teal and it almost has like this cat eye effect to it. It definitely looks like a jewel and it's so beautiful. It has a beautiful shiny quality that I've never seen before on a pen. So this is a full brass body with their unique sapphire lacquer finish. And the gold accents are also brass, but they are double plated with gold. Ooh, okay, so that was a baby peek at the grip section. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. Wow, what a beautiful surprise. I knew it had details to it, but I, for some reason, didn't think it would be this intricate. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what's on this. It's so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of hieroglyphics on a wall. Oh my God. So this grip section is also brass and double gold plated. The nib itself is a number six nib, so it's a pretty big nib. Oh wow, I am mesmerized by these details. Let's get a closer look. so beautiful and it has Ferris Wool Press 2010 which I'm assuming that's the year that they started oh that is so gorgeous and it feels really nice to hold too okay so let's compare it with the only pen I can think of that is pretty much the same size and that is my beloved Pilot Custom 823 and yeah it's very similar in length I feel like the Ferris Wool Press Jewel Pen is just a hair smaller. And I'm curious to see how long it is uncapped. I know Ferris Wool Press doesn't recommend posting this pen because of the finish. So I'm hoping that the body is longer. And yeah, it is. It's a bit longer than the Pilot Custom. And this one's a long pen already. And I want to quickly compare the nib size 
As you can see, the ferrisol press is a large nib, which I love. I love large nibs. And I'm curious about that feed. That feed is very, that feed is a very unique shape. I wonder if that allows the glitters to flow nicer through the pen. And okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm going to post this pen. I really don't want to. I hope I don't scratch it, but you know, for science. And let's delicately put this. Okay, we're gonna shake it. Ah, oh, so nervous. Okay, that is a long pen posted. So I would probably never post it. And yeah, it's definitely a lot longer than the Pilot Custom posted. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully take this out. And up here, I'm gonna have the measurements of the pen if you are curious about that. And the pen has a really nice weight to it, which is what I prefer in my pens. It feels really good to hold too. Yeah, it has a very, very nice balanced feel on the hand. I'm a person that loves to post their pens and I feel like I kind of need that because I do have larger hands, but I feel like this pen holds on its own. Okay, so let's see how this pen writes. As I mentioned before, I inked this pen honestly two days ago using Knitted Nettle, which is from their Fairy Tales line. And I feel like this line has chunkier glitters and a lot of sheening. So I'm curious to see if there will be any hard starts. And no, so far this pen writes really, really nice. And I also forgot to mention that the pen does come with a little piston converter as well. And I'll show that after I'm done this writing sample. But yeah, I have this pen in engraver's teal. So far there are no line variations, maybe a little bit, but not much to be honest. There's absolutely zero flex on this nib and it is a super juicy, juicy nib. Oh, let's take a moment to look at how beautiful this ink is. I love the glitters and that sheen that it has. I don't really ink up a lot of my gold nibs with shimmers since they tend to clog and even my steel nibs tend to clog so much. I've mentioned this before, but I really love the carousel pen because I never have a problem with shimmering inks flowing through those pens. I don't know what Ferris Will Press does, but shimmer inks always flow so beautifully through their pens. And this pen barely has any feedback, maybe slightly, but it could be because of the shimmers. And that's a stretch to be honest, it just glides on the paper. Oh, this is such a joy to write with. Okay, so now I'm going to write out a, a random poem that I have from Emily Dickinson. And I want to see if the nib clogs at all. I feel like after a few sentences, I notice my nibs tend to start clogging. And that's when I have to almost reprime the converter. So... Let's see how this goes with a few sentences. Okay, so this is really performing so well. There is absolutely no clogging. This is definitely made for shimmering inks. Oh, let's admire this ink a little bit. It's so beautiful. Ferris Will Press always has the most unique combinations too. I have been loving this new release so much. So because this is a first impressions, I will definitely have to come back and update you on this pen. But let's take one final look at this beauty. I love the color so much. It definitely looks more of like an emerald color to me, an emerald green, and I love green pens. And let me see if I can show you the inside cap. You can see that this is definitely a metal pen. 
like I mentioned it's a brass pen that is plated double plated with gold and here is that converter I was talking about which is a really nice size converter it holds a ton of ink this grip section is so stunning I have no idea what's on it but it's so beautiful I'm gonna have to take a magnifying glass and really look into those details it's so pretty oh, I can't stop looking at this pen and that feed look at the shape of that feed I wonder if that's what helps it to not clog oh, I don't know but I will definitely update you guys and let you know how this pen goes until then I hope you enjoyed my first impressions of the Ferris Will Press Jewel Pen and if you haven't already please consider subscribing and liking the video thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one